Good morning guys, 5.30 a.m. Um, it's kind of interesting how, I don't know, my brain and body work. I went to bed last night at 9 o'clock and <clears throat> I ended up waking up at 2 o'clock. And I thought, you know sometimes how you wake up and you have a hunch like, oh my alarm's going to go off or it's time to get up. I had that feeling and I looked at my phone it was 2 o'clock. It was weird because, you know, I already, when I had when I woke up I felt awake and so then uh, I spent probably whatever 10-20 minutes trying to fall back asleep and then the next time I wake up is when my alarm actually goes off at 5 and <laughs> when I wake up at 5 is when I felt really tired and I'm I mean I guess it has something to do with the uh, REM and your sleep patterns, your deep and light, light sleep patterns. But it, it's just kind of funny how uh, I get another three hours of sleep and I wake up sleepier than when I had woken up at two. It's weird. Okay, so just called a union and non-union uh, electrician apprenticeship program company. The Union one is definitely something I do not want to do. They put you on a two-year waiting list after you go through a couple of months of work and then have an interview. Um, the non-union is not like that. And the guy I called is on lunch break. He's the specific guy for the lacrosse area. So I'm waiting for a call back from him uh, to get some more information. And, uh, yeah. Somebody, it's a little too loud and talking here, and your eyes are saying you want to disappear. Adding another yacht to the collection. <laughs> Jesus, that thing's big. Who puts their. Let's see if you can see it. Anyways, there is a phone number and a fax number on that restaurant sign. Who puts their fax number on a restaurant sign? Done eating and showered. Uh, worked a late night till I got home at 6.30. So we were out there after the sunset. I'm sure you saw um, how pretty it was when I was driving back home. We had left just late enough where... I didn't get the, the bluffs when they were still lit up. That was pretty cool. But nonetheless, this guy was a pretty pink. Um, <clears throat> a phone case came today. I think you can see that, the owl engraved design there. Um, that, unfortunately, was a walnut wooden case for my 5S. And as you guys know, if you follow my channel at all, my 5S no longer works, and I now have an iPhone 7. So, I literally bought this case a day before I broke the phone. Um, <clears throat> so, I just contacted the, uh, it arrived today, I just contacted the seller. Um, I'm supposed to be able to get a full refund, so <clears throat> I'll probably be shipping that out sometime this week. And getting a refund on PayPal, so I can get my uh, 20 bucks that it cost back, because... I don't know. I was going to try and list it on eBay, but I looked at eBay and it's just way oversaturated with cases like that. So I'm just going to return it rather than try and resell it. Um, and now I'm going to call uh, Mary, Caitlin's mother, because she wants to talk. Just had a very long but good talk with uh, Caitlin's mother, and now it's time to go to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning.